As you can see, guys, ito pong yung graph na ginawa ko sa taas. This is the first one. Okay? Yung wala pa tayong projection. Ginamit natin siya. Ginamit natin si regression analysis or DC trend projection dahil evident yung trend na pataas. Okay? This one naman is yung meron ng projection. Ibig po sabihin, sinasabi natin dito na by the end of next year, around December, ayan no, near 15 na, and to be exact, ayan nga is 48.6, ang possible na maging sales ng Del Monte Ketchup. Considering that we have used the trend projection as forecast. Yes, hello everyone! How are you doing? I hope you're all well and doing great. So for this discussion, we're going to have our next forecasting model, which is so-called the trend projection. Okay, so let's start our discussion with trend projection. Actually guys, when we say trend projection, this is a linear forecasting technique. Take note of the term, linear. So linear forecasting technique with time as the independent variable. And of course, the forecast is the dependent variable or the y-axis. Independent variable is the x-axis in our chart. Now, uh, trend projection will be presented here with the following conditions. First condition is that there is a historical record of actual sales. Second condition, there is an apparent linear trend in the figures over time. So if the if the trend is somehow linear on the on the previous uh, data that we have, we can actually use this trend projection. So as you can see here, we have here time series components. I I included this in our presentation for this topic para makita ninyo ano ba yung pinagkaiba. Kasi di ba, lagi natin nasasabi, meron tayong tinatawag na turb-like trend, meron tayong cycle, meron season. Ano ba yung pinagkaiba ng mga yan? Okay, when we say trend po, it is evident that the, that the set of data has a prevailing trend. When we say prevailing trend, yung before na trend niya, pa up to now, nangyayari siya. Pwedeng increasing or decreasing. That is what we, we mean about trend. And dito sa example natin, it is an increasing trend. Now, hindi nam di perfect increasing trend siya is uh, diretso talaga. No straight. There, of course, there is some random movement. That's why dito, pero somehow, no, it can be considered as linear. Kaya nga sabi natin dito, no, linear forecasting technique is the trend projection. Ayan, diretso siya pag ano, not, not literally, pero evident. Okay? Pwede increasing or decreasing. Now, when we say cycle, guys, when we say cycle, this is actually a repeated pattern, pero there is no uh, exact time. Ang sininin nyo? This uh, part of the cycle hanggang dito, ito hanggang dito, yung layo niyan is not equals dito hanggang dito. Hindi rin equal sa layo nito hanggang dito. And of course, hindi equal sa layo nito hanggang dito. And we are comparing it horizontally, right? Looking at the chart, horizontal or the x-axis is the time. Meaning to say, kapag po sinabing cycle, no, meron siyang pattern, pero hindi siya eksakto na every 6 months nangyayari, every 12 months, dahil iba-iba yung time variation dito. But still, no, nauulit-ulit siya. And unlike sa trend na paangat lang or pababa lang, this one, pwede siyang nagbabounce, oscillating ang tawag natin siya. When we say seasonal, ito yung obvious na meron tayo na parang fixed time. Kung baga, ayun, no, almost equal yung difference nito. Ito dito, ito versus dito, ito versus dito, ito versus dito. Seasonal pattern. Ano po yung mga pattern na seasonal in real world? Isang example dyan is during Christmas season. Okay? So, during Christmas season, we are expecting that businesses are actually having great profits. Especially those businesses na may kinalaman sa Christmas decors. Those businesses na may kinalaman sa food production na in demand when it comes to Noche Buena. Tama? Every year yan. Every December. Okay? That is seasonal pattern. If we were going to graph their profits or their sales or their inventories, seasonal yan every December. No? Fix yung time. Same day with the what they call this with a summer, di ba? When we say summer, uh, after, uh, okay, summer na lang. Sa summer, di ba? Tumataas yung mga benta. 
considering that we don't have COVID-19, <laughs> uh, tumataas yung mga benta ng mga summer-related products. Swimsuits, salbabida, no, at kung ano-ano pa. Mga shades, yan. Those are seasonal patterns. Now, now when we say trend with seasonal pattern, pattern pagsamahin mo lang sila. You know, this trend and the seasonal pattern. Seasonal pattern siya, pero over time umaangat or bumabagsak. That is this time series components. And for this video, for this discussion, ang gagawin po natin is only the trend. Okay? Actually, uh, guys, actually, this topic is just the regression analysis of your statistical analysis too. Okay, during your first year, second semester, I'm not mistaken. Regression analysis. So, I hope you still remember our regression analysis topic before on our statistics subject. If not, no, hindi nyo na naalala. Uh, I have some recap here. Uh, or is the regression? Wait lang, ha? I have some recap here. Eh, this one. Ayan. Now, as you can see here, Substitute the slope and intercept, blah, blah, blah. General simple linear regression equation. We were in y hat is equals to b sub 1, x plus b sub o. Okay, so what does it mean? Now, b sub 1, x, this is the slope, and the b sub o is actually the intercept. Okay, so ito lang po yan. No, ang goal natin, mahanap yan. But, kung titignan nyo dito, sobrang haba ng ating mga solutions na pinaggagawa. Simula dito, ayan, mga computations and this one. And kung di ko nagkakamali, I also have an Excel for this, up to this graph. No? So, ayan, if you wanted to recap this topic, dahil parehong-pareho po yan dito, this is just the manual. No, you may click the link above. Ayan, lalabas dyan sa taas. And also, the the link will be posted below on the video description if you wanted to have a recap. Pero for this discussion, okay, for this discussion, what we will going to to have is the Excel application, diretso na agad. And I will focus on the analysis perspective. Okay, so for the problem, let's have our problem. Uh, Del Monte Ketchup 5. So, George, the marketing manager of Del Monte Ketchup, wants to forecast the monthly sales for next year. He thinks that there is a linear trend. So, if, if you are foreseeing that there is a linear trend, then go. You can apply this trend projection or simply the regression analysis. Simple uh, regression analysis of the monthly sales over time. The figures are summarized in the table on the next slide. Should George use the trend projection technique? What is the forecast on the monthly sales next year? So here are our data. So parehong pareho lang po ito sa lahat ng ating forecasting model na examples from the month of January up to the month of December. These are the actual sales na na-generate ng Del Monte Ketchup. Okay. Now, if you'll notice, guys, we have the first question here. Should George use the trend projection technique? Dapat niya bang gamitin yung trend projection? Yes or no? Para po masagot niyan, no, just, just see the data, check niya yung data, meron ba siyang trend na pinapakita? If wala siyang trend na pinapakita, hindi mo siya ma-apply. Okay? Hindi ka pwede mag-forecast using the trend projection. If, uh... Given na may trend increasing or decreasing, yes, it is applicable. Okay? So, paano makita? Of course, we're going to graph this. And by graphing, no, let's use Excel. So, I have here the Excel file. Ayan, parehong-pareho po. This is just a single Excel file. Nandiyan na lahat. No, I have here the trend projection. So, kinonvert natin, if you can see, here, kinonvert ko yung time period into month. No, mamaya, I have the reason for converting. Pero for now, for the sake of, uh, for the sake of checking if there is a trend or not, ang gamitin muna natin is demand. Okay, just highlight demand and the sales. Let's just uh, make a line graph dito para makita ninyo kung okay. And this is the graph. Now, first check, kung nakikita ninyo pataas, meaning there is a trend. Therefore, that is applicable. But if nakita ninyo cyclical siya or minsan seasonal, hindi po applicable ang trend projection. Maliwanag? No, I hope that is clear with you. Now, since nakita natin ang historical data, actual sales is increasing, no, there is a trend. 
Eh, we can now apply the trend projection technique or the regression analysis. So, delete natin ito. Then, i-apply na natin siya regression. Okay, how? Actually, kung babalikan natin, sabi natin before, si regression, ito ang kailangan natin. Na gumabuo itong equation na yan. And actually, there is a, tawag dito, there is a function sa Excel named data analysis para dito, diretso na, ibibigay na sa'yo yung B sub 1 and B sub O. Ayun lang naman kasi yung reasons why we have computations dito on the previous slide. Ayan, may mga computations. These are all to get the B sub 1 and B sub O or the B sub 0. Para lang, meron tayong equation and ipapalit natin lahat ng X. Ganun lang naman siya. No? And idiretso na natin dito sa Excel. Paano po? Let's just copy this para sa next year dahil ano ko titingnan natin no nasagot na natin yung ating tanong na una anong tanong ito should george use the trend projection technique yes because there is a trend evident ngayon naman we are trying to answer what is the forecast on the monthly sales next year that's why ito po ang ginagawa natin sa excel so ito ito yung this year at ang pinoforecast natin is yung next year. So, let's uh, edit the label. So, let's have here next year. Oops. Next year. Okay. And the time period now will be 13. Let's start with 13. Naka-formula to, kaya automatic siya na bago. Bakit ko po ginawan 13 and January is 1? Kasi idudugtong natin ito. No, yung graph nito, nitong this year, idudugtong natin sa graph nito. Kasi nga, we are projecting what will happen on the next years. No, on the months of the next year. So, time period and the sales. Ito ang ipo-forecast natin. Itong sales na yan. Wala pa po kasi ito. No, papunta pa lang tayo sa next year. Kaya, yeah, ipo-forecast natin siya. At, what happened? <laughs> okay. So, ayan. Okay na. Now, ano po ang gagawin natin? Yung nabangit ko kanina, the Excel file has a function regarding data analysis. So, just go here. Data. I hope your data analysis is already activated. If hindi pa po, no, dito lang po kayo pumunta sa properties. And if you are properties ba? Tama ba ako? I cannot remember. Kapag Mac, as far as I remember, ayun, naalala ko na. Kapag Mac siya, automatic na activated na ito. Pero since, since may, may Excel here is Mac, no, hindi ko may papakita kung paano inactivate. Sa Windows po, just go, just go to options. As far as I can remember, options. Then solver add-ins. Then check, click the data analysis. Then go. Okay, then ma-activate yan under ng data na tab. Magkakaroon kayo nito sa dulo. So, just click this data analysis. Then choose regression. Okay, regression. Then okay. Now, uh, let's delete all this data. Ano ba yan? Okay. Ito. For input y-axis, our y-axis here will be the time, the sales. Okay? The time is the x-axis. Dahil ulitin ko, sabi nga doon sa ating presentation, the time, ito oh, time is the independent variable. Therefore, siya si x-axis. Okay? So, ayan. Y natin should be the sales. Click natin itong label. Dapat nakacheck siya para consider na yung pinakaunang data sa pinakataas is the sales. Okay, so click it. Okay, then input x-axis. Let's drag this up to December. Okay, so label. Output, guys. It, you can have new worksheet. If check it new worksheet, magdadagdag siya dito as the output. Diyan siya lalabas. Pero if you'll check this output range, no, pwedeng dito natin piliin. Meaning, dito natin papalabas yung sa cell na yan. Yung mga sagot niya. And I think that's it. Okay, so click the button. Okay. Ayun, doon lumabas yung sagot. Now, eto po. Now, we have here the summary statistics. The correlation, the R-square, okay, 0.82, meaning they are correlated. The, sinasabi niya na the more na dumadagdag yung month, no, tumataas din yung sales. Pinatunayan niya dito na may trend. That, I hope that is uh, very basic sa inyo dahil you are now on the operations management subject and this is just a basic statistics. 
So, ito. We have the intercept and the time period. Now, itong, itong 10 po, ito ang ating magsisilbi na nasaan ng ating statistics. Itong 10, guys, this, this 10, ito ang magsisilbi natin na B sub 0. Okay? And itong 1.61 or 1.6084, ito naman ang magsisilbi natin na B sub 1. And take note sa formula, B sub 1 multiply to X plus B sub 0. So, um, game na natin. I-substitute na natin. So, B sub 1, ito, equals tayo dito. Okay. B sub 1, this, this, the B sub 1. It's equal, okay. Ayan. Uh, click Fn, then F4. This is to, to lock. Meaning, kapag dinag natin yung formula ng Excel pa baba, laging dyan niya kukunin. Okay? Then, we're going to multiply this sa value ng ating x, which is ito, 13. Okay? Then, plus the value of 10. And click again, Fn, F4. Dahil ayun din yung formula. Diba? Ang mapapalitan lang po lagi dito is, is the value of x, which is in our case, that is the F2. Meaning, kaya hindi natin siya nilock, kasi nga mapapalitan, yung magiging 14, 15 of 2. 24. So, enter. That is 30.95. Meaning, we are saying here na if the time period is 13, that is equivalent to January next year, the projected sales will be 30.1. And by the way, these are all in thousand dollars, right? Based on sa given na problem. So, that is 31. Okay? And copy this. No? Just copy this. And of course, paste. Pababa. Ayan. Meaning, pagdating down ng December, magiging $48.6,000. Ganun na kalaki. So, ganun na kalaki ang pwede na doon. Okay. That is the trend projection. Now, if you wanted to see, guys, if you wanted to see, we can copy this and paste kadugtong neto sa baba para gawa tayo ng isang graph. Ito muna ang gawin natin. Yung parang kaninang ginawa natin. Insert tayo ng graph. Ito siya. Okay, ito siya. Yung before lang ito. Now, lagyan natin dito na lang. Takpa na natin. No? And isa pa ulit. Isa pa ulit. Ito, highlight lahat. Okay, then control. Highlight this. Sales. Then insert ulit tayo na kanibagong chart. Ayun, no? pangalawa na ito. Ano naman ito? Anong-anong pinagka ito nila? Ayun, dito natin. Ayun. Oops. Just tayo ng ating magandang maganda. Ito na lang. Okay, as you can see guys, ito pong yun ang graph na ginawa ko sa taas. This is the first one. Okay, yung wala pa tayong projection. Ginamit natin siya, ginamit natin si regression analysis or DC trend projection dahil evident yung trend na pataas. Okay, this one naman is yung meron ng projection. Ibig po sabihin, sinasabi natin dito na by the end of next year, around December, ayan no, near 15 na, and to be exact, ayan nga is 48.6, ang possible na maging sales ng Del Monte Ketchup. Considering that we have used the trend projection as forecasting method. Okay? So, that's it for the trend projection or aka the regression analysis. I hope you guys learned something in this uh, discussion. Well, keep safe always. Thank you for being with me on this topic. See you on our next discussion.